Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Photoshop CS5 Extended How to Create a YouTube Channel Background Part 3. And if you haven't seen Part 2 or Part 1, there's a link here on the left side, Part 2, and there's a link in Part 2 to go back to Part 1, or you can just go to my channel and find it there. And it will be a lot easier for you to um, follow along with these. So let me just get this off and then we can make a start. So what we're going to be creating in this part is we're going to actually create the Twitter and the Facebook button that will go on the left and right, I mean on the right side of this panel right here. Um, it's pretty straightforward to create so let's just get started shall we. So we're going to create a new layer and what I'm going to do is I'll just um, pick my rectangular marquee tool make a selection a fairly square selection so if you hold down shift then you can create a square like so and then I'm just going to fill this in with um, any colour doesn't really matter I'll pick black and I'm just going to move this to around here just so you guys can see even though I can't even see it so I don't actually know where it is it's because it's hidden so right here it is if I just move it right in the center so you guys can see what's happening also as you can tell I added my logo in here just for reference I haven't added any gradients to it but I um, mean might as well do that right now so if you got some more text like this one or a logo to go on the other side like I do then you can just insert it in here and instead of redoing all the gradients and editing that you've done all you gotta do is go to the um, layer style that you want to copy right click it copy layer style and then go to the layer that you want it to be on right click and paste layer style and now as you can tell it got the exact same layer style as this one but because this is smaller and this one has this stroke it makes this one look a lot thinner so I'm just going to change that really quickly I'm going to change the stroke to one pixel or maybe even two pixels instead of three pixels and as you can tell it's a tiny bit thicker now but I think I'll just stick with one pixel because otherwise it's too thin so let's crack on with creating our button so this is my button right here uh, well it will be so if you've seen some of my other previous tutorials um, you this bit should be familiar familiar to you so what we're going to do is just going to add this stroke to this about maybe five pixel stroke it doesn't matter for now and we're going to change the blending options to advanced in the advanced blending sorry we're going to change the um, fill opacity down to zero as you can tell we just get an outline so I'm just going to increase the stroke even more maybe 10 pixels no a bit more 20 pixels yep 20 pixels should do the track and I will also change the color to a gradient and instead of linear actually you can keep it linear but I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees like so and then we're just going to add a simple gradient to this like maybe this one hmm maybe this one yeah this one should do it so I'm going to have this as my gradient and I'll just turn the stroke down to about 15 pixels because I think this is too thick yeah 15 should do it so now we got a basic outline for the button that we're going to be creating so I'll just make this smaller control T and the button should be about this big and it's going to go right up here so it's going to be even smaller 
be honest and also the stroke is going to be even smaller because we reduced the size so I'll just keep it at 5 pixels for now resize it to the size I want it to be about that big maybe click enter and just move it exactly where I want this button to be right this is where I want this button to be um, and that should do it so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add the Twitter logo to this so I got this Twitter logo right here and I'm just going to quickly select the bird so I'm just going to select my quick selection tool and start brushing in the area that I want to be selecting right so now that I got my bird selected which I had to cut out because my computer didn't really want to let me do it while I'm recording so here it is and now I'm just going to turn the size of this down and another thing we're going to do is you're going to apply a gradient to it so it matches a button um, gradient overlay we're just going to pick that same silvery sort of uh, button look maybe this one yeah I like this one we'll use this one and I'll also add a stroke to this just to make it stand out a tiny bit more one pixel stroke nothing nothing too dramatic and I'm just going to put this into my button once I zoom in and just make it smaller control T and then just drag and make it the size that you want it and put it in our button move a bit to right and that should do it yep so we got one of our buttons created but what I'm going to do because my logo is silver 2 and this is silver 2 it doesn't really, really um, look right together so I'm just going to change the gradient to something different maybe something that stands out a bit more right so now that we've got one of our button created we're going to use the exact same process to create the button for the um, face and now I'm going to select both of them control T and make it smaller so it fits just right there we go and I'm going to move them to the side like so and we have our buttons created so this is it for this part guys in the next part we're going to be doing final touches making it look good maybe changing some colors and that should do it for our youtube channel background i hope you enjoyed this please make sure you like favorite comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next part